Hi everyone, it's Brenda, and I am back with Learn to Crochet video number three. Today I'm going to show you um, how to do the single crochet stitch. Um, and hopefully if it doesn't take too long, I'm going to show you one more stitch after that to help you make a small embellishment. Um, so we'll start. If you remember where we're going to, hopefully I can get this camera so you have enough light to see what I'm doing here. Sorry for adjusting, guys. Okay. I'm going to tie on like we've done before, just wrapping around. And pulling over. Sorry, I'm just going to pull over my hand just to make it a little easier. And pull this one up and over and on. So, just like the last video, tying on that way. Tail to the right, working thread to the left, put your finger in, hold it for your tension, pinch where the tie-on is, and we're going to chain. Um, so, as many as you think you'd like. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, mm, yeah, nine. I'm going to leave it at nine, but I am going to show you, I'm doing it loose so you can see the stitch. Um, if you want to make a pot holder, like I was talking in the last video, you would just take this and measure it to, like, if that's our bowl. Sorry, I didn't bring one in. That's actually my crochet case. I would lay this down to get the measurement and put um, one extra stitch longer than you need. Okay? And that'll be the size that you would want for the length and then to make it square you would just keep going for the same length. Now it may not be the same stitches, it depends on your tension, but it'll make it square and make it a hot pad for you. I'm going to show you how to do that now. I'm not going to do the whole thing with you, but I'm going to give you an idea. Okay, so once you got it the length you need, you have it set up like this. Your chains will be hanging down the center, you will have your working thread this way, in your hook here. We'll put one extra in, so it'll be ten. Now, for the what we're going to learn today is the single crochet. You need to have chain loops ready, or either a, cir or a circle, and we're not going to do that till later, so we're going to start with chain loops. So, this here is your first stitch. You see where, this, where these threads are coming together here? That hole? So we're going to skip that one, because that is your extra, and we're going to go into this next hole right here, and you just go right in, side there, yo, that means grab your thread, pull it through. Now you have two loops on your hook, so what you're going to do is yo again, and pull through both loops on your hook, that's a single crochet, you just made your first stitch. Okay, so you can see where your next, if you pull a little bit, you can see your next loop, that's where you're going to go in, so you do it again. You stick the hook in, and yo, pull through, two loops on your hook, yo, pull through again, two. So there's two single crochets. Now you're going to continue to the end of the row doing that, okay? So if you're lost and you see it like this, like, oh no, where's my stitch? If you loosen up a little bit, you'll see this one right here. There it is. So you go in, pull through again. Okay, so until you get used to it, you are going to practice because it may not look so pretty here, but your finished project pro uh, finished project really will. So you can go through again and go through in, you through two loops, go through. Okay? And I'm going to do this it's kind of hard to do on camera around, around the camera here but you go through your loop again Yo, pull through. Two loops on your hook. Yo, pull through again. And then we'll go down into the next one. And we're going to yo and pull through. Yo, and pull through again. And if you don't know what yo means, yo means to yarn over. Because you're going to yarn over your hook. So we will go in here. Yarn over. Pull through. So you have two loops. Yarn over. Pull through. And then see, this one kind of looks like a pretzel at the end. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, because sometimes your thread will get pulled like that. Okay? 
you want to go into that loop. No matter what anybody says, go into it, otherwise you will have a wonky, wonky project. Okay, so you go in here and you're going to yarn over, pull through, Make two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through, and that is your last stitch. See, it lines up, okay? So you have your first row done, and it looks pretty cute. Now you could stop here, and if you have little girls, or even little boys, for their action figures or the Barbies, make it a little bit longer, it would be a cute little scarf. Or even if you do Amagurami, which are the stuffed animals, it would be a cute little scarf just like that. Um, you can also use this as a bracelet by sewing a button on the end or whatnot, or a ring. But that's not what we're going to do. <laughs> Now to get on with the hot pad, what you're going to do to go up to your next row is you're going to do a chain one. And you will turn your project over like that. You will always turn from the left to your right. Okay. Now this one right here, see how loose that is? That is where you are going to go into. But you want to, sorry about the phone. See how there's two threads? You want to go underneath both of those. So we will go in between, yarn over, pull through, two loops, yarn over, pull through. And now you're working, that is the first stitch of your second row. So we'll go under the next two here. See at the top view? There's two right there. You will go in the hole right beneath them. This way it's easier to find your stitch, okay? And you can count them. I don't need to because I can see them. Um, but we're just going to continue going all the way across here, doing our single crochets. And when we get to the end, um, I'm going to show you how to tie off, only because this is all you do for your single crochet. If you wanted to make a blanket out of this, you just go as a count, you know, go either width or length, whichever way you would like to do it and just count your chains and lay it on your bed and see if it's the length that you would like it to hang over or not or if you want to throw a blanket it would be a little shorter but um it's really simple to do and when you get see how it's like kind of bubbled here that means you do have one more stitch okay so if you're not counting and you want to look pull it up see there's two threads there so we want to go into that and we're going to do one more single that's it. Now you would chain one and turn again and continue with your rows until the desired length that you are looking for, okay? But we're not going to do that. We're just going to tie it off. Say you're at the end of your project. What you do is you just did your last stitch. You see how there's still two and they're kind of like sliding around. You do not want to lose that otherwise your whole project will fall apart. So you're going to yarn over and pull through it so you did your chain. Hold this here, and then what you're going to do is, let's see if I could do this, here, switching hands. I'm going to cut my thread, just leaving a small tail, okay? And now, you see how it's hooked? Pull. Pull this tight. Now you have a knot. That is not coming out. You will not lose your stitches, okay? What you're going to do is you're just going to weave. Go back through the holes that you went through and just pull through and then you go from the other side and pull through and we're just going to keep going weaving and from stitch to stitch see just same places that you put your singles in we're just going to weave in and out just as far as you are comfortable with four or five stitches sometimes I will do you know till the end of my thread there you know a good two three inches just to keep it so it, when you're using your product sometimes you will stretch it and see how it just tucks itself back in there over time it'll shrink up as well and you'll do the same one with the the start here and you could just weave it in and out and, sorry it's kind of hard and just continue weaving it and then you'll just have your stitch like that and that's your single crochet and mine is loose and you could see through it because I wanted you to see how to see your stitches when you do it it would be very close okay and you may not see through it depending on your tension but that is how you would do single crochet in rows okay 
So this way you can make any kind of row project with it. Now, I want to show you one more thing, because that would be your pot holder if you continue. Um, we are going to loop on the same way we always do. And I'm just going to use my finger there to pull that one forward. And slide this one around. And in. Okay. Now I'm going to give you one of my patterns right now. So if you write it down, you'll be able to reuse it again. Or you can just refer back to the video, which is fine. We're going to make a small flower center. Okay. Um, it will be perfect to put a little bit of bling on or a sticker or hot glue or an eraser or anything, okay? Just perfect for one of your um, embellishments. So we're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Mind you, it'll be a lot smaller if you use a smaller hook, okay? I'm using a big one so you can see. Now this is where we're, it's going to get a little different, okay? We are going to now learn a new stitch. This is called the slip stitch and I'm only going to do it the one time, so it's because it's really simple, okay? What you do is you're just going to go into the very first one that you made, right? Your finger there. You're going to yarn over, pull through, and pull through. So you only have that loop, that one loop that you just made. And now you got a circle, okay? That's what we want. Make sure you pull it so you can see completely through it. And that was your slip stitch. So, there's another <laughs> little stitch for you to use, which is very helpful. Um, now we're going to chain one, and we are going to use that single crochet that you just learned, and we're going to do nine in the ring. Okay, so now you need to count. So you're going to do in, and you're going inside the ring, or wrapping around all of those you just did, okay? So there's one. In the center here, yarn over. Oh, we've got two loops. This is two. Again, we're going to go in. Three. Four. Five. You want to work over this thread, this loose one, and then you won't have to tuck it in as much when you get done, okay? And if you lose track of counting, I'm going to show you here how to do this. Go back from where you were. One, two, three. See, doubles here to four. This is five. And right here is where we singled up. So we're going to go in here. It'll be six. And go in. It'll be seven. Eight. And then nine. Now you want to hold that last thread too that's back there. You don't want it completely covered. So there's nine. And we're going to pull that thread. When you pull it, look at the center is very tiny now. It's not as big. Or you can just wiggle it and make it bigger if you want to have that hole. Okay? But if you lose that thread in there, you won't be able to adjust the size. Now we're going to use that slip stitch again. Okay? So right here is our stitch, you see? Because there's two and there's a little space because there's threads coming out of it. Right here we're going to get under both of those two. See that? See how both of them are on there? So you have the three loopies right here. One, two, and three. Yarn over. And we're going to pull through this one. And the second part there. And that. And now pull that thread to make your center a little smaller. And we're going to tie this off as well. So we will... You know, you always, after your last stitch, you always chain one. It's always better to do that. Sorry, guys. Because it'll lock in your stitch. I'm going to hold this tight and try to do this here. Cut the thread. And once again, we're going to pull. It's secure. So there's your flower center. And you can leave the threads if you want to sew it on. Like stitch it on to another project, you can. Or you could tuck them in, just weaving them in and out of your stitches like I showed you before. And this would be a perfect little flower center. And hold on one second, let's see if I have a flower that I could kind of throw it on real quick for you. I 
night. Sorry guys, this is the closest one I have. But it's just already got a button on it. But if I wanted to, I can easily put that in the center and either a bling or hold on. Let me see. Just trying to grab something really quick. Maybe a little frog or whatnot on the center of it. And make it really cute, I think. But, yep. That's it for the tutorial today. I hope I helped you guys with your single crochets and your slip stitch. And if you have any questions or comments, like, you want me to go further with this, I'll try. The videos get really hard for me to load up when they get way too long. So, if you do need some help or anything, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you. And I really hope you like the little flower center it would be perfect for all your little altered items or your cards and stuff. Huh? Hope you join us next time. I'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.